CDC director recently said that face masks may provide a higher level of protection against COVID than even a vaccine. But not all masks are created equal. Our next guest likes to say the best mask is the one you or your child will actually wear. Dr. Bob Arnott is the former chief medical correspondent for NBC News. He has the do's and don'ts of wearing a mask. Hey, Dr. Bob. Hey, Molly. Is it true, in your opinion, not all masks are the same? Not all of them are going to give us great protection? You know, Molly, what's so interesting is you know, so many people go, I don't want to wear one, they're not sure of it, they're uncomfortable. So the wrong mask has been a big mistake. You know, the government has been recommending cloth, and yet on their own website they say it's not particularly effective. A study last week showed if you're wearing cloth masks, single layer, you're actually spewing more virus than if you're wearing no mask at all. And it really is just designed to protect people around you, probably not you. Often you see people blowing, it's below the nose, they have gaps here. It's just a poor choice. Next up would be a surgical mask, gives you 67% protection, which is pretty good. If it's not properly fitted, that drops to 40%. The new generation masks give you 97% protection. In FDA tests, mandated by the FDA, Nelson Laboratories, they shoot particles through roughly the same size as the virus and they can't get through they stop 97 percent of protection of the virus look how how comfortable this is i can breathe through it all day long my temperature doesn't go off on my skin my pulse doesn't go off i'm not retaining co2 now these n95 masks you know had just been for healthcare providers reserved for them even laws in some states but the n95 substantial equivalent passes the same fda test but now they're going to be available at the numbers in the hundreds of millions. I think it's going to make, Molly, a big difference in the epidemic that people wear the right mask they have confidence in. Yeah, I think wearing the right mask is important. If we're going to take the trouble of wearing a mask, purchasing them, we want to make sure that we're keeping ourselves safe and other people too. Such an excellent point. So I'm holding these two packages. I think they're rather cute. Um, and people are going to wonder, okay, everyone has heard about the N95. How do these compare to, to the N95? So the FDA has these mandated tests and they compare in terms of stopping the particles, they stop 97% of particles, more than the N95. Breathability, they have double the breathability of the N95. And because the N95 is 35 year old technology, this is 2020 technology, it's actually a better mask. So I'm, I'm pulling one of them out here and, and you can see that um, it's, it definitely covers my mouth and my nose. What I love about it is back here, you can see you mentioned the fit and how important that is. It's got that that piece right here that goes over the nose that allows you to cinch it so you get that tight fit, yet you can still breathe through it very easily. Is that something how you can breathe? And when I breathe in, see how it cinches tight around my face here? And you have two different ones. This is uh, for adults, the other one's for kids. And the way I ran into this, Molly, is I was buying masks for uh, the local school. I bought a thousand masks from Air Queen and uh, they uh, had them out the next day. Great customer service. And I have real confidence they're protecting kids and ourselves. It's wonderful. Doctor, thank you so much for joining us today. This is important. I'm going to share a website so that people can find the Air Queen masks. Oh, that's great. Thank you so much, Molly. Absolutely. Appreciate your time. And there are, again, some masks for kids. That's the one I'm holding here, as well as this one for adults. The website, again, to get this Air Queen mask is airqueen.com.